Um, my name is Laura Spencer and I'm playing Vanessa. Vanessa is sort of desperate right now. I, I need a man and I'm dragging Jan along with me because I didn't want to go by myself and uh, yeah, she's just sort of like my wing woman for the night. I guess that's what I'm looking for. I guess that's what everybody's looking for. <sighs> John really wanted to sort of interlock um, another story. They're kind of doing that throughout each of the series. I think it's maybe for people to kind of pick up on or notice. I'm not sure how they're going to end up doing it. But um, my part of the story is that I am her roommate. I'm Jan's roommate and best friend. And um, yeah, so her series follows her. She's a photographer's assistant. And I'm an actress. We live together. We're same age, same kind of lifestyle. And I support her. You know, I seem to support her in a lot of things. I do. And uh, yeah, just that friend role and that that confidant. I mean, that you would that you would think I would be and uh, support system. And so yeah, and this she's kind of being that for me <laughs> in Vanessa. Yeah. And action, Laura. And action. Oh. Thank you. I'm so clumsy. <laughs> Laura was brought in by Rick Pagano, our casting director, I, I think on the same day that Caitlin was. And she was very funny when she did Jan. I didn't think she was right for Jan, but I thought she was very funny. And uh, I always liked the audition process because I like to play with the actors. And I thought, mm, maybe she could play this. She took to it. And uh, you know, one of the nice things is I like to write for actors. Uh, so knowing the characters, in this case creating the characters, knowing the actors is a very, very uh, helpful thing for me. It's, it, it increases my comfort zone considerably. And uh, so when I did this, I, I knew I could write for Laura and I thought I could write really funny stuff. And she, sometimes when she reads it, she's thinking, you know, like, oh my God, he really gets me. <laughs> you know. And the, and the merging of her and, and Vanessa, you know, it's not perfect, it's not her story, but it, there are certainly elements of it that are there. And part of that is her generosity as well to me. I have personally never speed dated. Um, I'm curious now that we're doing this, I kind of want to, because I feel like it would almost be an interesting character study. <laughs> no offense to anyone that's ever speed dated, but it seems way more fascinating than doing online dating. There's a lot, there's a lot of internet dating out there. I know a lot of people that do it. It's a new thing, the web is introducing a lot of different avenues for your life, you know. I will meet a couple that seems to have known each other for years and I say, how'd you guys meet? And they're, they're kind of, they actually, people freely admit it now, they say online, because <laughs> it's sort of <laughs> no the norm now, it. honestly. And a cousin of mine um, met his wife through an online dating site, so I know there's success stories out there, so hey. I'm sure there's success stories with speed dating. I'd love to hear those success stories. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Obviously, Vanessa wants a success story at the speed dating, so.